Astronomers have found that Betelgeuse has now entered the final stages of its life. It is slowly losing its brightness and energy as its fuel is depleting. One day it will completely explode and become a supernova. But is there any danger to our Earth and human race from this event? Will we survive this massive explosion? Let's ponder upon this. First, we need to consider the distance of Betelgeuse. As mentioned earlier, this star is 640 light years away from us. One light year is an immense distance, about 9.5 trillion kilometers. Due to this vast distance, it is believed that the Betelgeuse explosion will not reach our Earth. Betelgeuse is a red giant, which is a type of large and bright star. These stars enter the final stages of their lives and expand to enormous sizes. The diameter of Betelgeuse is about 950 times that of the Sun, and if placed in our solar system, it would extend up to the orbit of Jupiter. Red giant stars enter their final stages because their fuel supply is depleting. The hydrogen fuel at their core gets exhausted, and they start burning helium. After that, they also exhaust their final fuel, and a terrific explosion takes place. According to astronomers, Betelgeuse is also in this phase. It is slowly losing its shine as its fuel is depleting. In the next few hundred thousand years, it will undergo a massive supernova explosion and be completely destroyed. Some people are afraid that the Betelgeuse explosion will completely wipe out life on Earth. While some past devastating supernova explosions have caused some damage, although this event took place in the distant past, the destructive explosions that have affected life on Earth were much closer to us. For instance, about 3 million years ago, a massive supernova explosion caused significant damage to life on Earth. But that was only 160 light years away. And 7 million years ago, another supernova explosion had a severe impact on ancient human communities. That too was only 300 light years away. In both cases, the supernovae were so close that the radiation emitted from them had an adverse effect on Earth. Such events are extremely rare on Earth. The last time such a bright supernova explosion occurred was in 1604. According to reports from that time, the explosion was so bright that people could see it during the day. However, its brightness gradually faded later. In 1054, there was also a massive supernova explosion known as the Crab Nebula. It was so intense that people could see it at night without any telescope. Even today, when we look up at the sky, we can see the remnants of this explosion. When Betelgeuse explodes, it will also be as magnificent and bright as the Crab Nebula was. Its brightness will be visible to us day and night and will last for about a month. Later, it will dim but still be visible in the sky. Now, the question arises, when will this explosion happen? A peculiar thing about Betelgeuse is that astronomers are not certain about it. They can only speculate when the explosion might occur because predicting supernova activities is very difficult. Some astronomers believe that the Betelgeuse explosion could happen in the next few thousand years. Other astronomers go even further saying it could explode in the next million years. Still, some estimate the explosion to occur any time in just a few thousand years. So there is no definite timeline. We can only hope that it happens during our lifetime so that we can witness this amazing event. But whenever it occurs, we want to make sure that it does not pose any danger to our Earth or human race. The Betelgeuse explosion will be a massive event whose impact will be felt far and wide. However, its direct impact will not be limited to just light and heat. It will also emit radiation or toxic gases that could be harmful to us. Some scientists suggest that the X-rays and gamma rays emitted from the Betelgeuse explosion could affect Earth's atmosphere. These rays could impact and even puncture the upper layers of the atmosphere, allowing more ultraviolet radiation to reach Earth, increasing the risk of diseases like cancer. However, this will be a minor effect that will last only a few years. Betelgeuse is so far away that the strength of these rays will be greatly diminished by the time they reach Earth. Moreover, our atmosphere will also be capable of shielding us from these rays. So we should not worry about this. Another thing that some people are concerned about is the impact of the Betelgeuse explosion on the Kuiper Belt. The Kuiper Belt is a region of icy and dusty celestial bodies located at the outer edge of our solar system, about 50 light hours away from the Sun. Some scientists believe that the Betelgeuse explosion could damage this belt. However, most scientists think that such a threat is very low. The Kuiper Belt is quite far from Betelgeuse, 
so the rays and particles emitted from the explosion will be so minimal that they will not pose a serious threat to the Kuiper Belt. Yes, some dust particles might get affected, and some icy bodies might face damage. But it will only be a minor effect and will not cause any harm to the Kuiper Belt. So we should not be concerned about this either. Another important point we should consider is the impact of the Betelgeuse explosion on astronauts and spacecraft. As we know, human activities in space have increased significantly in recent years. Spacecraft and space probes are being sent into space frequently. So it is a valid question whether the Betelgeuse explosion could be hazardous for humans and spacecraft present in space. Could they fall victim to the radiation and particles emitted from the explosion? Most scientists believe that as long as the spacecraft and spacecraft are near Earth, the Betelgeuse explosion cannot harm them. Our atmosphere and Earth's magnetic field will provide them protection. However, for those spacecraft and astronauts that venture beyond the magnetic field, it could be a potential hazard. The high-energy particles emitted from Betelgeuse could impact them. This could be a particular concern for astronauts on long space missions. For example, some space agencies are planning to establish human settlements on Mars. During such long missions, astronauts may have to face the radiation emitted from the Betelgeuse explosion. Therefore, it is crucial that spacecraft and space stations are equipped with adequate safety measures to deal with such hazards. They should have thicker walls and special radiation shielding so that the radiation and particles from the explosion do not affect them. Moreover, Space agencies should plan long missions in a way that they can avoid the explosion time. If possible, they should cancel or postpone any missions that would be in open space during the Betelgeuse explosion. Finally, it should be kept in mind that the Betelgeuse explosion is just a natural event. Such events keep happening in our universe. Although it will be a massive and magnificent event, its harmful effects will be limited. For people living on Earth, it will only provide a spectacular sight. We will be able to see and experience its brightness and impact, but it will in no way be hazardous to our lives or health. For astronauts and spacecraft too, with proper precautions, this event will not be dangerous. As I mentioned earlier, with proper planning and safety measures, this event will not prove hazardous for astronauts and spacecraft. They will need to plan their missions around this event and follow appropriate safety protocols. The Betelgeuse explosion will inspire us to redefine our responsibilities and work towards a better future. At the same time, this explosion will also demonstrate the power of science and astronomy. This explosion could provide us with valuable information about the origin of Earth and the Sun. It will motivate us to conduct more research and gain knowledge. Although its timing is uncertain, whenever it happens, we should enjoy and learn from it. It will remind us of how small we are. Yet we possess scientific knowledge and respect for nature, which helps us carve our place in this universe. So let us all eagerly await the Betelgeuse explosion and, if it happens in our lifetime, enjoy and learn from it.